Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn about this in JavaScript. Now, this is a general reference holder in memory that applies the different values based on scope and how it is called. So what we're going to do in this lesson is look at some of the out of the box instances of how this works and some of the cases where this would not work as you expect or we lose reference to this. So to start off in vanilla JavaScript, if we were to just call this inside of a document or inside of a function, it would refer to the window object. But we also learned that in strict mode, if we call this, it would not refer to the window object. And in fact, it's going to give us an undefined error. So the reason for this is that in the past, this was assigned to the window object kind of out of convenience or a fallback. But with JavaScript moving forward, they want us to be much more conscious about how we're using this and specific in binding values to this or knowing what this refers to. So in this case of just calling this out in the middle of nowhere, JavaScript is assuming, hey, you might have done something wrong and this is not what you expect it to be. So we're going to go ahead and just set this up as undefined. So just to review this point, again, we have two functions that are doing the exact same thing, one in strict mode, one not in strict mode. The strict mode one is throwing an error. It's saying uh, this is not defined and the other one is giving you the window object. In general, I would say going forward, since you want to be using strict mode, do not expect this to return the window object. And if you really want the window object, then you could just type out the window object directly and get it that way. However, here is an example of where this is really helpful, and that is within a method inside of an object. So notice here in the first method, we have render ID and we're just trying to get ID. Now we see that when we call post.renderID, it gives us an error because ID is not defined. Really, ID should be a variable somewhere, and we're expecting to get the property off of post. So the way we could do that is with this.id. So in render this ID method, we see this.id is called, and this, in fact, when we call it at the bottom, does give us one in the expected value. So the biggest use case just starting off with objects particularly, is that this refers to the object. So you could call methods this way, you could call properties this way, and anywhere within that object you get access to it. So this is something that is really helpful. However, there are cases where you might reassign something and this is going to lose its value. So let's take a look at this example here. Here we have the same thing as before, render this ID. When we call post.render this ID, it gives us one as expected. But what we want to do now is reassign post.render this ID to a new value and call that new function render. So what happens here is that this is going to lose its reference. And this happens anytime you refer to a function or a method that has this inside of it, but you use a function reference. So on this line var render equal post dot render this ID, render this ID does not have the parentheses, which means that it's a f not being called, which means that it's a function reference. And in JavaScript, when you have a function reference, you lose binding to this. So this could be problematic and this is definitely something you could you want to be aware of and I'll show you one more example of this in action where it might be commonly um, used in a place where this will break. So here we have a post with that render ID method same as before and then we have two different functions. The first function render post is taking the whole post and then it's going to call the function or that method render ID. The second function is only taking the function and then it's going to be calling it. So this is actually where this is going to break because in the first one we're passing in a whole object and it's calling the render ID method just as expected. This does not lose its binding. However, when we pass in post.renderID, we're passing in a function reference. And again, this function reference is where this will break. So inside of here is where we would get an unexpected error. Now, this is definitely something you want to keep in mind because anytime in JavaScript where you're passing in a function reference, which is not uncommon, that is going to cause something to break if you're using this. Now, there are some ways to get around this, and we'll look at that in the next lesson. But for now, just know that out of the box, anytime you're using a function reference to refer um, to a function in JavaScript, that is going to break the binding to this.
I'll point out one other instance where this is not going to work as expected, and that is with fat arrow functions. So this is the same setup we saw as before, except instead of using a normal function declaration, we're using a fat arrow function. And one of the things about fat arrow functions is that it loses reference to this, or it doesn't even keep track of it to start. So is in the past, we would have expected this to return one. Now this is not going to be referring to anything, just like it was in the global scope, and therefore it would not get us the expected result. So if you plan on using this inside of a method, then you want to be writing out your functions in the old fashioned way, or we'll cover binding and get into some workarounds later on. But by default, very important to know that fat error functions do not keep reference to this. So this was a lot that we talked about. And part of the things that's confusing is that we showed as many examples of this breaking or not working as it should, as we did of showing how it does work. So you will definitely see this later on. This is just kind of an introduction to it, but let's do a quick review of just the things that we have covered so far, because they are helpful to know. So first of all, in global scope, we're going to get the window object or more likely undefined if we're in strict mode. Fat arrow functions do not bind to this, so if you are using them, be careful. However, in an object, this refers to the object, and this is one of the classical uses for this so that you could refer to a property or method easily within that object. The other thing is that this is going to lose binding when it's assigned as a function or method reference. So if we have a method or a function with this inside that was working before, but then we reassign it or pass it as a parameter as a function reference, it will lose that reference and that binding for this. So the final thing to mention is that this can actually be reassigned based on how it was called. So in the next lesson, we'll get into binding this because this is where we'll really see the strength of this in action and a lot of cases in the wild and in production where you will need to do this or see it being used and you want to understand what's going on.